and welcome back math party people coach Anderson here so as always we want to try this word problem out and before we do let's just double check make sure that we are going with what we want then what we have and then the connection again namely read the question first so right here how many free throws would James have made if he shot at a 90% success rate so again how many free throws that's what we're looking for how many free throws and the condition or the information that's kind of tagging along with it right over here again if he shot at a 90 percent success rate so let's go ahead and you know take blue here and we're saying you know blank free throws made and then the information that is connected to this 90 percent success the hardest part about practicing for the ASVAB, in my opinion, is knowing when you're ready. Knowing that you are good to go and move on from this topic, and that's why our full program has a progress dashboard, letting you know exactly what you're good at and what you need to work on. And the great thing is, you can join our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. That's our trial that's available for you. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or click the link in the description of this video to get started and have yourself a good time. Go ahead and do a mass web party, people. I'll see you in there. So again, what we know, what we know is that the number that we're looking for, the number of free throws made, it's connected to a 90% success rate. And if we look at the information that's given, we may realize that this question is a pretty particular one because we see that it says in a basketball game, James made 12 free throws, and that corresponds with, equates to, 60% success rate. So when we highlight this, there's something peculiar going on, because we have two ideas that are being compared in the same way. Again, the free throws made versus the success rate, and that's happening twice. Again, free throws made, success rate, how many free throws? success rate. So if I didn't know any better, I'm thinking, hey, this is a proportion word problem where we are comparing the same things in the same way. You can still treat this like a percent problem, but I'm going to choose to solve this like a proportion because I want more people to understand that, yes, percents and proportions are the same idea. So we have 12 free throws over here, right there. And that corresponds with again, a 60% success rate. So now that we know this, we're good to go. We can set up our proportion and you'll see how much easier it is to solve it this way than it would have been traditionally with your percent formula. So with that, let's go ahead and set this up. I'll just say, you know, X free throws corresponds to 90%, again, right over there. And then 12 free throws corresponds with 60%. Now, when we zoom on in here, again, as soon as we solve for X, we're done. That's the great thing about this. And remember that before you solve proportions, it's always best to see if you can actually, you know, simplify before you actually do any cross multiplication. So here, I notice that 12 and 60, they're both divisible by 12. So I'll divide by 12 in the numerator, divide by 12 in the denominator, giving me a nice simplified fraction on the right side. It's going to be X over 90 equals 12 divided by 12 is 1, and then 60 divided by 12 is 5. So look at that. It becomes much, much easier to handle now. It's not as bulky as before, where you're dealing with 2 by 2, and then 60, and then having to divide by 60. Here, we cross multiply and we get 5x equals 90. And the last thing we need to do is divide both sides by 5, and we're done. So here in this situation, x equals 18. And if you didn't know how to do that automatically off the top of your head, you can always use long division. 5 goes into 9 one time. And then 5 goes into 40 eight times. So again, that's where the 18 comes from. So 18 free throws made corresponds with a 90% success rate. Booyah, that's answer choice A, and we are done. So as always, my math party people, remember to talk about the problems that you're doing. That way you can improve each and every single time. You know, even if it was confusing in the beginning, talk about the point that you got stuck on. So as long as you do that, you'll continue getting better. And if you don't mind, please leave a like for this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment if this helped you out at all. We'd love to read your comments and we love making more videos for you. 
So do us that favor and we got your back. Let's ace the ASVAB and I'll see you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching our YouTube videos. If you want to give it a like or if you want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be amazing. And if you'd like to join our full program for a full week for free, no credit card required, go ahead and follow those directions right over there or scan that QR code to get started. Follow those directions and let's start easting the ASVAB. Coach Anderson out. I'll see you next time.